I'm Peter Leonard. I'm the principal of a data consultancy called Data Synergies and a professor of practice at UNSW Business School. And I'm also the chair of the ACS AI Ethics Technical Committee, which was the author of the white paper that we'll be reviewing. The white paper is designed to help information professionals and others understand how humans and technology work together and how to best govern use of automation in decision making by organisations. Many organisations are implementing AI and other forms of automated decision making already in businesses, in government organisations and in homes today or indeed in your car. In that context, it's very important for organisations to understand the limitations of the technology and to not place excessive reliance on the technology when it's not appropriate to the task. That requires a new dialogue, a new understanding between business people and technical people, and that's not easy. In many organisations, that requires different conversations between a broader range of people than they typically have had to date when they are implementing new technologies. So this isn't just like buying a new software package. Implementing AI into an organisation requires a more fundamental rethink about how technology is used in operation. Trust requires transparency and honesty. And in a complex world with complex technology like surgical robots, you need a much higher level of transparency and honesty between developers, sellers, buyers and users than typically we've had before. So part of what this white paper tries to do is explain the role of governance, bringing together the right people at the right time, asking the right questions and applying the right management uh, methodologies and governance to assure that that happens reliably and verifiably every time. One question that often arises with AI systems is around fairness. The key uh, aspect of thinking about fairness is to expect the same levels of fairness from a machine that you expect from a human. It requires transparency as to how they think so that you can be confident that they're not biased or applying irrelevant consideration or unreasonable consideration. And we should expect exactly the same of machines. One of the challenges in where we are on AI and automated decision making is determining how much regulation we need. And my view on regulation is that we should be a bit cautious. And the reason I say that is that we still haven't explained to organisations what good governance and assurance of AI looks like. So I think we need to be quite forensic in thinking about where we need regulation and where we don't. And the question always should be, what is the level of risk of harm to individuals and the environment? If the risk is too high, we shouldn't allow it to happen. That's a case for regulation. But otherwise, we should make sure that organisations are thinking carefully about what the risks are and mitigating those risks. I'd like people to take away at least two things from a reading of this report. The first is that humans shouldn't trust technology too much and that technology should not trust humans too much. Both can get it wrong and when the two come together, there's great risk of uh, confusion and over-reliance. The second thing I would like people to take away is an understanding that technology and humans together constitute a decision-making chain. And in that chain, we need to understand where the weakest link is and ensure that that chain is never used where that weakest link might fail. That requires careful evaluation of the context in which you're going to use that chain.